Hello everyone. Let's try to solve this question from the chapter Light Reflection and Refraction. Let's go through the question and try to understand what is given in the question. The first part is state Snell's law of, of refraction of light and write an expression to relate refractive index of a medium with speed of light in vacuum. So, Snell's law of refraction states that the ratio of the sine of angle of incidence to the sine of angle of refraction is constant for a pair of media in contact. That means the sine of the angle of incidence divided by sine of angle of refraction is constant for a pair of media in contact. So mathematically it can be said that when a light goes from a medium A to a medium B such that I is the angle of incidence and R is the angle of refraction then sin I by sin R is equals to NAB where NAB is the relative refractive index of medium B with respect to medium A. So this is the answer for our first part which now let's write an expression to relate the refractive index of a medium with speed of light in vacuum. Relation between refractive index N of a medium and the speed of light in vacuum is n that is the refractive index is equals to speed of light in vacuum that is c divided by speed of light in medium that is our V. So this is the answer for our second part that is the expression to relate refractive index of medium with speed of light in vacuum. Now let's look for the numerical question. The refractive index of a medium A with respect to medium B is 2 by 3. So given to us is this is equals to N A by N B which is equals to 2 by 3. Now it is given the refractive index of medium B with respect to medium C is 4 by 3. That means B with respect to medium C that is equals to N B by N C is equals to 4 by 3. So in the question it is asking 
to find the refractive index of medium C with respect to medium A that is it is asking to find refractive index of medium C with respect to A that is nothing but N C by N A so this value has to be found so now let's take N C by N A and multiply both its no numerator as well as denominator with N B so now taking NC and NB as a pair and NB and NA as a pair so it becomes NC upon NB into NB upon NA so here we find NB by NC equals to 4 by 3 so NC by NB will be 3 by 4 and here NA by NB equals to 2 by 3 so NB by NA will be 3 by 2 so this is 3 by 2 so we get 9 by 8 